Hello everyone, I'm Farel Imran and today I'll be making a video regarding Microsoft Copilot plus PC. So how in the PC Copilot is embedded in it, I'll be telling you all about in this video. So stay tuned till the end so that you don't miss any of the updates. So let's get started. Now here there's the official Microsoft blog in which it is introducing the Copilot plus PC. So here it says there was an event that happened yesterday. It was a May 20 event and you can even see the on-demand recording also. So here it's available when you click on the link so you can go and have a look at the event also. So at the event they said that they introduced the world a new category of PCs. So the window PCs which was designed for AI. It's Copilot plus PC. So in the PC, it is Copilot. So the PCs are designed in a way that it is AI designed. So the PC, you can say it's AI PC. So they are doing that. And what more they're doing is that they are the fastest and most intelligent Windows PCs ever built. And with also, they have a new silicon, powerful new silicon, which is capable of 40 plus tops tops means trillion operations per second so what is trillion operations per second and let me tell you about it so silicon of course see the chip that it is used in the in all the mobile phones or laptops or pcs or desktops so whatever chip that you see it's made of a semiconductor called silicon so because of its capabilities so now, it's a new silicon which is capable of 40 trillion operations per second. For example, what operation? Any operation, for example, when you click a plus sign or when you click the button on a keyboard, or for example, you do some addition. So, those operations they're telling about. So, those operations that would be 40 trillion. So, it's 40, 40 trillion operations per second. Like in a second, you can do 40 trillion operations. And it will have an all day battery life. So the battery life would be all day. Means you use it the whole day and the battery life would be like, you don't need to charge it for like the whole day. So it would have an all day battery life and it will also have an access to the advanced AI model. So it would have access to the AI copilot. Now I'll tell you one more. Now this, this copilot plus PC, that the things that you do in this PC, which Windows have introduced, you can't do it in another PC. So for example, this whole PC is AI design. Means whatever things that you want to do, so this one will be doing it for you, like the Copilot Plus PC. And whatever will happen is that it can regenerate and refine AI in images. For example, if you want an AI image, it will create it for you. And it can also have the, it will also break the language barriers. Now, for example, it, for example, whatever language that you want it to translate to, so it will translate it. So the PC will translate it for you. It will translate the audio and the 40 plus languages into English. For example, if you know some other language other than English. So the 40 plus languages, you can translate it into English. and. They are also, I'll be also showing a video about it, the how they're introducing the Copilot Plus PC. So that video also I'll be showing in this video. I'll be showing. That. Okay, so about it says that this PC would be thin, light, and beautiful devices. And they're also saying the availability is starting on June 18, means on June 18, it will start the availability. And the first wave means the first thing is of Copilot Plus PC is just the beginning. And you can also see that it will do things that you have not imagined it. So it will be doing a lot more things. And let's have a look at this video. This video I was talking about. So let's have a look at it.
as you have seen the video. So here you can see about all the things that they've introduced the 40 plus languages and even about the co-creator and how you can like imagine with AI so AI will draw it with you. So even the creativity you can make it like realistic or a really cartoonic like animation so you can do it. Okay not only that more things that will be happening is that the uh, neural processing unit together. So it has a high performance neural processing unit together and it is also connected to the enhanced by the large language model. So the large language models are used like in how in AI it's used such as ChatGPT, Llama, Gemini, everywhere you use the large language model. So it takes the languages and how it can understand your text. So through large language models, it can uh, understand you. So, and also there would be small language models also. So here, the Copilot Plus PC, it will achieve a level of performance you've never seen. They are 20x more powerful. So 20 times more powerful and up to 100 times as efficient for running AI workloads and deliver industry-leading AI acceleration. So the workload and it's efficient, 100 times more efficient. So, and while delivering the all day battery life. So, they're also outperforming the Apple's MacBook Air 15 up to 58% in sustained multi threaded performance. Now, let me tell you about what is multi threaded performance. Now, multi threaded performance is that it happens that, for example, whatever things that are happening in parallel, for example, you opened one app and then you open another software or app and it's running parallel so you can see how it's running parallel so that is multi-threaded performance and they're saying they're beating macbook air by up to 58 perform uh, 58 percent and also they're delivering the all day battery life plus they can deliver up to 22 hours of local video playback or 15 hours of web browsing on a single charge so like on your battery life you can it can perform 15 hours of web browsing like for 15 hours you can do web browsing and plus the 22 hours of local video playback and which is like they're they're saying all this in a single charge I mean you just charged your pc and for 15 hours you can do the web browsing and you can also do the a video playback of up to 22 hours so they're saying and the thing is that they're beating macbook here and more things they are also adding in it more features that here let me tell you about it now what they're saying is that they're having a new emulator the apps will run great whether needed or emulated means Emulator means like how you run other apps or other, for example, devices on your PC so you can run it in a fast way. And there would be a new powerful AI experience. You can recall instantly with recall on Copilot plus PC. So this is another video that I'll be showing you. So here they say that they can have, you can, Recall now what they're saying you can access virtually what you have seen or done on your PC and it will have photographic memory like what you have done in your PC before so that also you can access it. So let's see this video. Have a look at it. Okay, so after seeing having a look. So you can scroll across time. So you need to find the content. For example, if I want the time, like in like some days ago or one week before, what did I search or what did I wanted to find? So it can also do that. Plus, they also do object recognition. Now, object recognition means like any object it goes to, it recognizes it. So what they're doing, they're doing, for example. The from the snapshots, the camera snapshots, 
they are recognizing the objects on it and they're also co-create the thing i was telling you which is the ai powered image creation and editing which is it's built into windows so here also there are some videos regarding it there are also innovative ai experiences from the creative apps you love such as adobe davinci CapCut. so you'll have some ai experience in this and here you can play games on it liquid text dj pro so it has new enhanced windows studio effects means their copilot your everyday ai companion so all these things will be here and they're available starting june 18 so the brands that will be uh, sir asus dell hp lenovo samsung so you can also pre-order today at microsoft.com and from major pc manufacturers so you can do it and have some fun with ai and use it so that is all for my site thank you so much and do tell me in the comments that which feature did you find it interesting or not so do tell me in the comments so that's all for my site thank you